Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you two ways to backup and restore WhatsApp messages on iPhone or iPad. With these two methods, you can backup all your messages with all the attachments from an iOS device. So please watch this video till the very end and I'll show you everything step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, definitely share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost anything. So with that being said, let's begin. Our first method is using iCloud to backup and restore your WhatsApp messages. To do that, open up WhatsApp. Now go to settings. After that, select chats. Then tap on chat backup. After that, click on backup now. After that, all your WhatsApp messages will be backed up to your iCloud account. But the problem with this method is if you already backed up your photos or videos to your iCloud account then you probably won't have free space on your iCloud account. Our next method is using a special software to backup and restore your WhatsApp messages. And the software is called iSkySoft WhatsApp Backup and Restore. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. This software is also available for Mac users. So just go ahead download and install the software. After that open it up. As you can see, this software is world's best smartphone management software, especially designed for Android and iOS devices. With this software, you can do a lot of great stuff, like you can recover any kind of deleted files from Android and iOS devices. You can transfer data between your computer and your smartphones. You can also transfer data from one phone to another, like transferring data from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone, etc. You can also backup and restore your iOS and Android devices. And one of the best feature of the software is unlock. With this option, you can remove pattern or pin code from your Android devices without losing your important data. So in order to backup and restore your WhatsApp messages, you have to select this option. Just click on it. With this software, you can also backup and restore your Viber, WeChat, Line and Kick messages. So first of all, connect your phone to computer with the USB cable. After that, click on backup WhatsApp messages. Once your phone is connected successfully, it's gonna start backing up your WhatsApp messages automatically. Now this is gonna take time depending on how much messages you have on your WhatsApp account. So I'm just gonna pause the video over here and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, now the backup process is completed. You can also see your backup files over here. Okay, once you have backed up WhatsApp messages to your computer, now let me show you how you can restore those WhatsApp messages back to your iPhone or any other device. So I'm just gonna delete and reinstall WhatsApp on my iPhone just to show you how the things are done. Once your phone is connected to your computer, click on restore social app once again. Now you have two options to restore those WhatsApp messages. The first option is restoring WhatsApp backup to an Android device. Yes, you can also restore WhatsApp backup to an Android device, which is a great feature. You can also restore your WhatsApp messages to any other iOS device. Like if you have any other iOS device like iPhone or iPad, you can also restore these WhatsApp messages to those devices. In my case, I'm going to restore my messages back to my iPhone. So I'm just going to click on it. Now select the backup file. In my case, I'm going to select the first one. Click on next. After that, just click on restore. Okay, now it's going to ask you to login to your whatsapp account which i've already done okay now it's asking you to turn off find my iphone option from your ios device in order to turn off find my iphone just go to your phone settings tap on your icloud name then tap on icloud scroll down select find my iphone which is currently on all you need to do is turn it off tap your apple id password then tap on turn off you can turn it back on after the restoring process is completed. Now you can see the restoring process has begun. Okay, now you can see these are the messages that were restored from that backup file. So there you have it guys, that is how you can backup and restore WhatsApp messages from an iOS device. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends and I'll catch you on the next one, have a wonderful day.